Aquaponic Pepper Update. Welcome to Peppers and Glowworms. So my aquaponic chili pepper has grown a bit and again has produced some flowers. Yes, and I have increased the aeration. Also, bladder snails have shown up. I keep pollinating those flowers. There have been a few waves of them, but in typical Chinese fashion they just drop off. But there are many new ones coming. Let's look inside. Yeah, lots and lots of bladder snails. Uh, I didn't introduce them, I guess they came with the aquarium water. But it's actually quite nice, because they are perfect food for little Sardinian glowworms. Oh, quite a lot of them. Yes, yes. And the roots are doing fine, it seems. Yeah, they keep reproducing those bladder snails, but originally I have put in some uh, freshwater isopods um, of the genus Azelus, which means little donkey, so I had a little fun with Dali and the phrase the adorable sea donkeys and <laughs> aquaponic chili peppers, but apparently um, there are no of those of those sea donkeys left they have been hmm, out competed by the bladder snails perhaps not sure but um, i think this setup with just bladder snails works fine apparently yeah nowhere to be seen i also introduced some sponge cloths uh, from the glowworm enclosures I don't know. Can you see some freshwater isopods in there? I don't. Well. Yeah, and the most important uh, part of maintenance is uh, I give uh, feed this setup, so to speak, once a week with old leaves, uh, mostly chili pepper leaves, in a, a way of recycling. And I also put inside some pond pellets. They smell nice and fishy and give the snails some protein and the chili pepper some nitrogen along the chain. And on a lid. Yeah, I hope uh, this will produce some nice chili peppers this season still. But we shall see. Mm -hmm.